Barry meets Mitch, gets some beignets, has a combo, and then heads out. And then that leads to this moment where the motocross bandits identify you in the car as you're on your way to Sharon's house. I guess mm-hmm. that's where he's going, right? Yeah. And and then that leads to this like genuinely extraordinary sequence, a really, really cool bit of filmmaking. Um, so we talked about it a little bit at the beginning of this conversation, but you know, tell me about making it. Cause I don't think I've ever seen a, especially a motorcycle chase, like shot this way from this perspective. So how did you guys do this? Before the season even started, I would say like we started shooting in July and I think in May we were planning that chase sequence. Hmm. Like I got with Justin Ball and, and Laura Hill, uh, the VFX supervisors and, and mapped out what I, you know, what it was kind of shot for shot. And then they made a, a previs and, and we showed that to the stunt coordinator and he went, huh, and then showed it to locations, Jonathan Jansen, and he went, hey, I gotta go find a freeway, <laughs> you know, and it was, <laughs> by doing the pre that Laura and Justin put together, I was able to say, these are the exact shots. Each shot was its own little problem, which I love that. I love problem solving and all the people on the show that I mentioned love the problem solving element of it. But each shot had its own thing that was difficult. When Barry takes off going, that's me, it's called a biscuit. It's a car, there's someone else is driving. I'm hooked to another car and someone else is driving it, the stunt driver. When I take that turn and you see in the rearview mirror, the car, the motorcycle get hit by the other car, that's its own composite shot. We, sh- we hit a dummy, you know, you every shot in that, there's like five different shots composited in that rearview mirror shot. And then when that guy goes through the windshield, that was incredibly difficult to figure out uh, because I wanted the camera on the side so where you felt it really hit next to Barry and then hold in that for him to be able to turn around and look at the guy. That's like a composite shot, about five different shots. And that's, they actually, they had me react and then I turn and look and there's nothing there. And then they get me out of the car. <laughs> they do it again with a plate. With just it's just empty. And then the third shot is a dummy flying through that windshield. And then the fourth shot is they put we put a actual guy there, and we shot those with a green screen behind it on on the location though. So the sunlight coming through the windshield is the same. So then when you put it all together, that's like a dummy flying in. But the minute it hits that seat, they morph it into a an actor. I started doing this thing while I was shooting it where Barry's like singing this song and I was just doing it at the top of the scene. You're my buddy, you're my friend. Oh my buddy, where have you been? You're my buddy. Then you're my buddy, you're my friend or whatever. And it was really just because I was bored. Like I was just trying to find something to do in the scene. And then it was like, oh, this could be a funny thing that he's doing through the whole thing where he's just trying to sing this song and be like happy. But then the kids get interrupted by these people. And Barry, this is weirdly where he's his most like calm is in these situations. But once it got to the freeway, that's, you know, that's the 710 North in Pasadena. We shot three days. It's from seven to noon. And one day was just me merging. It was just one day where we just shot me merging. And there's real cars in there. And then there's peppered in VFX cars to kind of, and there was no traffic going the other way. So that's all VFX. And then the second day was we had two camera bikes that had a, a mount on the back of it. One had a mount on the back and one had a mount on the front. And so it's a stunt driver driving really fast with this you know, this mount on his, on the back of his bike and our stunt driver, you know, shooting our stunt driver and they're both actually splitting lanes. We had a bunch of people bring their cars out. They left their cars there and we created a traffic jam and then just sent these people through. So that's all real. That's, they're really splitting lanes and it's, 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 a. Uh, it gave me a heart attack when we were shooting those. I was so nervous. And then the third day was everything with Anthony shooting at him and trying to do the handoff and it going wrong, that whole stunt. And yeah, I mean, I just, we just were really super prepared. I mean, we were just crazy prepared. And Aida Mm -hmm. Rogers had a really good idea where she was like, you should cut the motorcycle sequence together just to make sure 
it works, you know? So we You're can like go Sod- back. Soderbergh and, now, yeah. You know, like we were shooting the episodes and I had it on my phone and I was like, look, it's rough, but look at it, you know? And people were like, whoa, that's crazy, <laughs> you know? And then when they get to the car dealership and the car dealer and everything, that's actually shot in Torrance. And that's uh, a, a car dealership in Torrance. And um, and Eric Schoonover designed this amazing ramp for Stunt Woman um, tra- to go up and put all this stuff around it. So it looks like she's going up these garbage cans and debris and stuff. But what I wanted was a, a shot where, again, everybody's kind of small and you're, you're seeing the whole kind of world. This uh, car dealership, so you could see inside, you could see on top of it in one shot, and then someone shooting down below into the car dealership and seeing all those people then come towards cameras. So the perspective changes. It's, it's, it's a pan, you, you pans and then Barry walks off and you pan back the other way. But in that is the information of like, you know, five different shots, you know, or six different shots. And I also, I think I like, cause it's kind of Ronnie Lilly too, of, of like when Fuchs tries to get the girl into the car and she goes up the tree and goes on top of the house. And now the status has changed between them. It's kind of a similar thing where now she, Tracy Taylor now has the, the status and the scene. So she's on top of the house, you know, it's, you know, it's all that stuff, you know, and then by the guy shooting her and she goes away, now Barry can leave, you know, it's all, it's all that silent film crap. 